Namaste, love and light divine, feminine. Welcome to my channel, Starseeds Tarot 444, where you can get tarot readings and so much more. It's 2.35 in the morning, and I just did a burning ritual, and I was like, let me just do a reading, okay? Because I was going to use my laptop and play my little game, just, you know, watching TV, be to myself because my kids sleep, but I was like, let me do a reading, let me do something productive, right? So, y'all, <clears throat> we have tower at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's receiving a tower moment because they was out to get you. Somebody wanted to win at all costs. Someone was literally praying for you to receive a tower moment, and they're about to receive karma. Okay? And I feel like they're going to be having fallen out with family and all type of stuff like that. Just because of the mere fact that they were bitching bad on you. All right? So, <clears throat> however that resonates, take it and leave it. Spirit, so now we need to tap into the line of feminine energy at this time. Spirit guides, ancestors, or anything. I give you my faith. I know you need protection at this time. Please protect me. I'm going to be protected. Thank you, Nashi. Happy full moon in Taurus. The moon is still full, I think. It was full last night. I mean, well, it's still night, but like around 8 o'clock. And it's the 20th now, so we'll just see. Spirit, allow me to tap into the divine feminine energy. What do the divine feminine need to know? What is hidden? What's being kept a secret? Okay, tell me what's going on. So, I'm getting that somebody wants to put things to rest with this four of swords. Somebody may want to heal a situation. Maybe somebody is finally ready to come out of the cold or the wood works with you and they want to um put something to rest okay there could have been some delays there could be some delays in communication or things are just not moving forward right now things could be a bit stagnant and maybe someone wants to put that to rest all right so you guys may need to not move forward in something and just completely focus on your healing all right if you've been in separation from someone they've been focusing on their healing all right Yeah, somebody is um been focusing on their healing so they can be your king of pentacles. Focusing on their healing so they can be your king of pentacles here, okay? I feel like somebody's been healing, resting, rejuvenating, meditating, all right, on how they're going to become this king of pentacles for you, divine feminine. Somebody is legit dreaming or manifesting to become your king of pentacles. So this is someone that made, wants to want serious commitment, that wants to give you stability, all right, I want to offer you stability that may even want to um, fully commit as in marriage, have kids. They could be a bit nervous, or you could be a bit nervous or um, standoffish or protecting your energy from them. All right, maybe because something happened in the past with the Six of Cups that um, made them be a bit, made them look a bit disloyal or dishonest here. But I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like you're willing to hash out whatever happened in the past. And I feel like they're reflecting on it with the Hermit here, Virgo energy, and they're realizing that they was a bit manipulative trickster player energy here all right but somebody is coming back around they want to be your king of pentacles they only want to be your king of pentacles nobody else's so they could even be putting old flings third parties to rest if it's not like if it's like cheating third parties it could be like co-workers family members friends okay Some of you guys may got this person blocked, or there could be some blocked communication. For some of you guys, you may not want to see them, all right? Or they feel like you may not want to see them. They feel like they really disappointed you, okay? For some of you guys, they feel like they the reason why you guys are in this two of swords energy here. But um, I feel like if you got them blocked, y'all going to be unblocked. Like, you're going to unblock them, or they're going to unblock you, okay? I feel like this person needed a chance to see what was really keeping you guys in this two of swords energy so that's another reason why they've been in this four of swords energy here resting healing this could be you this could be vice versa so take it how it resonates okay a lot of you guys could just be trying to focus on your king of pentacles being your own boss okay your own entrepreneur and blocking out in all energies that is keeping you a bit unsteady ungrounded at this time okay
Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like honestly, y'all, for some of you guys, this is a small this is a small percentage. For some of you guys, they could have blocked communication with you until they are ready to come out of the woodwork here. That's what I'm getting the woodwork to become your king of pentacles, okay? But some of y'all could be water signs, some of y'all could be earth signs, or this could be earth signs, don't have to be. But I feel like this person is blocking out um like if you could have recently re reached out to them. Okay, they could have blocked you out intentionally, intentionally until they feel like they're ready for you because they don't want to accept you back in <clears throat> and they're not where they want to be. All right. They have a lot of love for you and I feel like you have a lot of love for them. I feel like if I feel like it's the other way around for some of you guys, y'all could have blocked this energy out until they get on their P's and Q's and so they get into that King of Pentacles energy. But for a lot of you guys, you're waiting on them. Your intuition is with this holy group. Um, this holy grail. This is this is um connecting. This is letting me know that you're connected with your intuition. Okay, a lot of you guys are seers, oracles, and I feel like you see that this person coming back around. You see that this person have a lot of love to give, or you see the potential. You got potential. You got by Summer Walker. That's the vibe I'm getting with this person. Yeah, they want to come back. They're resting and rejuvenating, meditating on when they should come back. Some of you guys, they may come back within the next three to four weeks, three to four days here, three to four hours. They're coming back, okay? Some of you guys, y'all haven't spoken within the last three to four days, okay? But they're, they're planning on coming back. That's literally what's on their mind with this four swords when they're resting is that they're, how they going to, how they going to plan a way back into your life, Okay. Y'all both could be listening to a lot of music at this time. They could listen to a lot of music. If somebody listen to like healing music. Well, music is healing for someone. It helps them clear their mind and clear their thoughts. That could be you or this person. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Okay, first of all. First of all. I'm getting. Because the King of Pentacles is energy. Alright. Not getting that somebody is. Um, same sex. It could be, but what I'm getting with the Skates of Wands and the King of Pentacles is that this person wants to, wants to manifest something new with you. And they want to manifest themselves being the King of Pentacles. And I feel like this person, if you are the King of Pentacles, like this is you, and you could have cut someone off recently, they are attracted to the fact that you are very independent. All right, I'm getting very loyal. Okay, very sufficient, resourceful, that independable. Some of y'all could be Tauruses, don't have to be. Okay, but this person, they want to manifest themselves becoming the King of Pentacles. And they want to do it with you. They see it with you. Okay. Three plus one is four. So they want the four wands. They want commitment. They want to... Wow, that's fucking crazy. I just said this shit. <laughs> they want commitment. They want a relationship with you. They want a baby with you. Okay, for a lot of you guys, it's like you are the King of Pentacles, Divine Feminine. And you're doing it all on your own. And then you have a big heart with this Queen of Cups. And they want to, they want to, you know, they want to release um, a lot of heavy baggage. But I feel like, yeah, they want to release whatever heavy baggage and open a brand new cycle with you. And close out this old cycle and come in with communication here. Alright, a lot of you guys could have separated from them because they was not giving you the stability that you wanted or they wasn't giving you that type of relationship that you wanted. A lot of you guys took a leap of faith, all right, without even saying anything, all right? Like, you know, you just not really, like, moved on, but it's like, you're like, I'm just about to do me until they come back around, all right? But with the impress, they coming towards you, all right? And I feel like you're waiting for them to come towards you, honestly. I feel like you're waiting for them to come towards you, for some of you guys. And if it resonates for you, it resonates, Okay. Some of you guys, they could be a bit nervous to give you this offer, but they're going to give it to you anyway. They've been spying, watching you, thinking about you here, all right? Or they want to spy and watch you if you got some luck. They want to communicate with you either way. They want to, all right, so some of you guys, they want to communicate about the past. For some of you guys, they just want to move forward from the past here and just walk away from it. Okay. Yeah, look, the chariot. They want to move forward all the way it goes. They want to move forward here. They want to move forward whatever's keeping you guys blocked, stuck, or stagnant. 
they want to move forward from any block communication, whatever's blocking YouTube from moving forward. They want to they want to move forward from that. They want to remove that unclear blockage. This is removing unclear blockages. I feel like you guys are going to be is going to be, get a clear understanding about things, and y'all going to be clearing those unclear blockages that you guys have together. Yeah, look, judgment at the bottom of the deck. So this is like having that um that uh, epiphany awakening here. You know, having that final judgment call. Where it's like you guys hashing things out and forgiving each other and reconciling here. You telling this person what it is that you don't like and what you don't need, you know, or you're going to be single here. I feel like this is you basically voicing what it is that you want and don't want, what you would tolerate, what you won't tolerate. And I feel like it's vice versa. I feel like they're going to do the same thing with you too. So, like I said, clearing those unclear blockages. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I got heartburn. Okay, so somebody, so maybe y'all have heartburn. Or maybe this person's heart is burning without you. <laughs> oh, if you want to look at it like that. Okay, let's get one more. Even when they, they sleep, they think, look, look, the king of cups. Yeah, they have, this could be a cancer. Don't have to be. They have cancer in their chart. Or they just have, they love like a cancer and have a lot of big emotion like a cancer. All right, well, we have the king and queen of cups. This, a lot of you guys, this is your match here. And I saw the queen of pentacles in reverse and the king of pentacles here. I feel like the queen of pentacles in reverse because this person was not matching your needs. Okay, but they're about to. Matching your needs. They weren't meeting your needs. <laughs> they they want to come out of the... um. They want to come out of conflict. They want to apologize. And they want to um, compromise here. This is compromise. Want to right past wrongs. Okay, anything they've done, they want to fix that. Yeah, anything they've done to make you feel insecure or less confident about yourself. Even if it was a third party, they want to apologize for that. And they want to give you a new beginning with this um, Ace of Pentacles. They want to give you a fresh start, a new tangible start here. Yeah, the star, because you are their wish fulfillment. They have this Ace of Coins, and they only want to give it to you. This could be an Aquarius. You can be an Aquarius. Look, Ace of Cups, I can't make this up. You are their wish fulfillment. We got two Aces here. All right, so they wanna they wanna give you a new opportunity and a new and a brand new cup of love, and they wanna only give it to you here. They only wanna give it to you. All right, yeah, and I feel like they wanna heal whatever situation that made y'all unhappy in the past. So whatever unhappy situation y'all got going on, they wanna heal that. Yeah, and I feel like this is gonna be part of your karmic justice. Okay, you receiving an apology from this person and you guys healing things. All right, I feel like with this tower here in reverse and the Knight of Swords, I feel like y'all was not supposed to separate or get into conflict, but it happened anyway. All right? Like, it wasn't like it was meant to happen, but it happened, okay, for good reason. All right? But, yeah, y'all going to be coming back. This is so cute. Y'all going to be coming back together. All right? Just in, in time here. Some of you guys have been waiting for a while, but with the temperance, is also healing energy. Y'all healing things. You know, this person coming back. You know, you're letting this person back in, recovering, and you guys focusing on that soulmate twin flame connection that y'all have. Okay, this is healing. Some of y'all definitely didn't want to reconcile with them, or they didn't want to reconcile with you in the beginning because they felt like it was not going to be worth it, it was going to be too hard, or you wasn't going to forgive them. But they had to come out of fear, all right? And now they're definitely thinking and contemplating on the way how they're going to come back around towards you and communicate, all right? And communicate towards you about the past. Because some of you guys, they feel like you're still holding a grudge about the past here. And that's why they want to let you come in and let you know with this King of Swords how serious they are about you. And, what, and let you know what's on their mind. About how they don't want to keep focusing on the past and they don't want to work out on things that's not balanced. Because it's just going to cause conflict. That's literally what they're probably going to say. It's like, it's not even worth me and you even tapping back into the past here. Let's just move forward. Alright? And clear those unclear blockages. Yep. And just clear those unclear blockages. Literally. Clear those unclear blockages. All right, let's not dwell too much on the past. Let's just clear what needs to be cleared up and, you know, <clears throat> remove anything that's keeping us in that reject, that four of cups energy. Yeah. So that is good for the most part. This is cute. Twin flame soulmate connection here. And they want to definitely communicate with communicate to you about how they feel, about how they truly feel. Some of you guys, like I said, they don't even want to tap into the past. They just want to move forward. And for others of you guys, they just they want to unclear they want to clear those unclear blockages and move forward. Okay. Either way it goes, y'all are clearing unclear blockages among one another. So let's clarify. I feel like there was some, some trickery energy here. I was keeping this person in a lower vibration here, but they're taking a leap of faith out of that, and they're choosing healing. Uh, 
Now, maybe this is somebody, this could be you, you know, avoiding healing here. It could have been family that was coming in between you and your person could be a father, all right? Don't have to be, but anyway, why is this four of swords here? Four of wands here in reverse. Yeah, they're reflecting on a breakup, on how things were unstable and how they're going to fix things and make sure that things do not be unstable like before, all right? They reflect. They're reflecting on how things were unstable and how they can do and how they're gonna do better this time. All right, like four swords here in reverse. So yeah, I feel like this was someone that was not healed in the past. It was not healing. It was not reflecting. It was not taking accountability. But now that you guys are out of their life, they've been doing that. Okay. Why is the four of pentacles here? That's the four, the King of Pentacles. I hope I say Four of Pentacles. Yeah, but they want to return. Like I said, they want to return to you, and they I feel like an engagement. They want to get engaged to you, and they and they want you. They want you to come back to them as this King of Pentacles. All right, even if they may not be there at that moment when they're asking you back, but they want to reconnect with you, and they want to voice to you that they want you to be. Um, they want to be your King of Pentacles. They want to be your King of Pentacles. Okay. But some of you guys, if this, if you're masculine, your feminine is going to tell you she wants you to be her king of pentacles. Like, she's ready to be there for you. Okay? Maybe in the past she was giving you unrequited love, but she was still feeding into the connection. Maybe, well, if that was the case, maybe she just needed some time to think about it. But now she sees that you're the one. Okay? Let's see, Spirit. Tell me about the two of swords. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Like I said, clearing those unclear blockages. Ten of Wands reversed. So we, so clearly seeing that there's something being blocked and stuck here and releasing it. And releasing it here. Taking them blindfolds off. No longer fighting against the past I'm getting. So allowing the past to just f f flow freely. Using this full moon in Taurus to release whatever past, um, to surrender to the past. Yeah. Somebody maybe needed to surrender to the past here and give up on the past. Maybe you or them. Somebody was allowing the past to linger and follow them around here. But yeah, but now somebody is taking a leap of faith with you here. Aquarian energy, Aries energy with this fool. But anyways, why is the Queen of Cups here? Oh, wow. Some of you guys intuitively know that this person was being a player and they was indulging in third-party situations. Some of you guys, you intuitively know, because the Queen of Cups is intuitive, you intuitively know that somebody been, was gossiping about you behind your back and then with this Nine of Wands coming around, smiling in your face, this could be a Sagittarius, okay? It could be a Sag that was having third-party situations on you behind your back, okay? It could You could have a Sag friend that was having a secret affairs with your lover, with your ex-lover, I don't know. This is like different channel messages I'm getting. But for the most part, I feel like you intuitively knew that this person was being a player here and could possibly have a third party situation or they was going around gossiping. Because with the Three of Cups, this is also gossip. Okay, the Knight of Wands, he's, you know, he's the type to spread around. Well, not really, maybe the more of the page, but, you know, he's in and out. I'm just getting the vibe that somebody went, you know, went back and gossiped about you and then went around being a knight of wands, just being reckless with it, recklessly talking mess or recklessly telling your business, something, something like that. Or some, you picked up intuitively that somebody had somebody else. Something was unrequited all the way it goes. Something was unrequited, and I feel like family has something to do with it. Somebody could have ran back to their friends and told their friends stuff about you and then came back in your face. Somebody could have ran back to their family and gossiped about you to their family and came back in your face. Somebody could have ran out and had an affair with a third party and you picked up on it. They could have slept with them. And I feel like they're saying to me, like, that was the old them. That's what they're saying. That was the old me. This new me is the king of pentacles, and that's why they want you to come back, okay? I'm not saying, oh, they cheated on you, take them back. You know, because they want to change. You know, I would not like that. But, you know, people, they do. I mean, people make mistakes. I mean, if they constantly cheating, they got to go. But if this was just a one-time thing before y'all really got serious or before things ascended to the next level, maybe it's worth you guys unclearing those unclear blockages. I don't know. I mean, we take back our exes all the time that cheat. You know, maybe this time this person needed to learn that one time and that's it. All right? But they want to now look. They want to come towards you with this Ace of Cups here. They, I feel like you guys are waiting for... For a lot of you guys, y'all waiting for them to give you this apology, to give you this Ace of Cups here, and explain the truth. All right? 
to explain the truth here. Do you really love me? Are you going back to the third party? What's the deal? Three of Wands reverse. Yeah, King of Swords. I'm telling you, they're gonna come back more serious, wanting commitment, Taurus energy. That's that Taurus. That's this full moon and Taurus got them wanting commitment, got them wanting to settle down, and they're coming back telling you that they're serious. All right, that they're serious this time, and that with this, what does it mean with this King of Swords? I'm just getting seriousness. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't have to be. All right, but they're just gonna come back more serious. All right, somebody could be talented. Okay, I'm getting. Somebody is um, very intelligent, a fast thinker, quick learner. Um, somebody head could always be in the clouds here, or they're just always, yeah, the head could be always, always be in the clouds. Not in a negative way, but they're always thinking. They have a sharp mind. Yeah, that's what I'm getting with this sword. They have a sharp mind here. Somebody's going to come to you very sharp and serious. All right, this could be somebody that's smooth as well. So this person, they may be sharp, but they smooth. Like, they know exactly what to say. Okay. They, ooh, they want marriage with you. They want marriage with you. That is pretty sweet. Some of y'all could be Scorpio because I heard Scorpio. And they're going to confess this shit to you. That they want marriage. They want to be your emperor. More than just the king of pinnacles. They want to be your damn emperor. Your masculine wants to be there with you here. Whatever karmic shit that was blocking y'all. They about they clearing that shit up. Why is the ace of wands here? Some of y'all love the sex. <laughs> ace of swords. And that's the truth. Some of y'all love the sex. Alright. Oh they have good penis. Alright, have a good dick. But, all the way it goes, I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, this is pretty good. They're going to be, this is, you're going to have a breakthrough here. Some of y'all, y'all going to have a breakthrough sexually, and it's going to lead to, like, an orgasm, and it's going to shift your whole consciousness. Okay? <laughs> like, yes, that can happen. When you have good sex, and you have that Kundalini activation, and you have that orgasm here. Alright, yes, it can shift your consciousness, okay? And it can put you in a whole different attitude, a whole better mood. But, um, for others of you guys, I'm getting that this person is going to confess again. They're going to give you some truth and clarity that they want to start a brand new beginning. And they're going to give you some truth and clarity about some type of sexual affair that they had here. Some of you guys, they just want you back, so they're going to explain to you that they're sorry. They was different. They wasn't grounded. You know, that wasn't them. And they, and they just, they're in a whole different energy. Some of you guys, this could be a Virgo. Don't have to be. Take it out resonate. And how they're not happy without you. How they're not happy with themselves and with their actions. Yeah, and I feel like they want to move forward with you. They look at you as the queen of, the queen of wands. Very attractive, alluring, sexy. Alright? And if they were messing with a third party, also with this, three of wands, with this queen of wands, if they were messing with a third party, they're saying that, that she means nothing to them. Okay? Yeah. Strength card in reverse. Y'all could be Leos, or this could be Leo. don't have to be. But it's like, you know, I don't feel nothing for her only sexual desire is not like you okay but some of y'all ain't having that <laughs> okay what is this yeah they're gonna come back around with an apology it's like i split the deck because how the way the deck be like this it makes me want to split it and i'm just seeing i saw the emperor the magician and other couple they like they they're about to apologize why is the chariot here forward movement to commitment. Some of you guys may have to travel to this person. Some of y'all may, if y'all do get married, y'all gonna travel to get married. Alright, that's just a small percentage of you, not a big message. But they want to move forward and they want commitment. They want, they want to higher level of commitment with you. And they're, and they're willing to be faithful. Moving forward, they're willing to be faithful. That's what I'm getting as well. The higher friend is faithful energy. They're willing to be faithful moving forward. Towards you, towards you for you here. For you, they're, it's like they're saying they'll do anything for you, all right? There was some conflict, there was some manipulation in the recent past, all right? Somebody was lying to you here or lying to, I feel like they was lying to somebody else. They had you, but then they was lying to someone else. I feel like they was keeping someone on the um on the back burner here just in case, all right? But that left them in regret here because you found out about it. Like you said, your intuition sensed it. And they dropping all that extra comp um, competition here. All that extra um, conflict here because it's not successful. They're seeing that them having multiple options is not successful for them. So they're hanging it up. All right. 
Yep, two of cups. I'm telling you, this shit just flipped out and it fell on top of the ace of um, swords. So they're going to be confessing to you that they that you are their soulmate and they want to they be with you. They want to have this new beginning with you. I'm about to leave it right there. That was too much. Yeah, look, knight of cups here. And I was just talking about this knight of cups. That's right here. With the magician. So they're right now working on a way to manifest you back in so y'all can have this ten of cups. They're receiving karma. Whatever they done, they receiving karma, and, and they're learning their lesson. They're never going to do it again. They could even say that, like, I'm never going to do that to the line from then again. Because they see how special you are. They're coming in with an apology. Pisces energy up. And they're hoping that you're willing to come back around. They're hoping that you're willing to um open back up the cycle with them, and you're still holding on to them. Why well, is the King of Cups here? They have, man, they head over heels for, for some of you guys. They have a lot of love for you. And they told you that some of you guys, they want to massage your feet, kiss your feet, lick your toes, suck your, they want to do all type of stuff. They just want to show you that they love you. Okay, Queen of Wands. Yeah, I, again, with this Queen of Wands, I'm getting two things. There was another woman looking them, but they're moving forward with that. With you also, I feel like this person was attracted to you. I feel like the passion, the chemistry was just really strong here. Like they couldn't help but attract themselves to you and it made them fall in love with you. Okay, for a lot of you guys, it made them fall in love with you. It's like they're in love with, with your demeanor. That passion, that chemistry that y'all share here. Your yoni here. And they feel like you can handle them. That's why they want to come out of conflict too. They, they're in love with you. A lot of you guys, they are in love with you. They know that you're the one. That's why they, they're taking time to rest here to make sure they do things the right way this time because they fucked up before and they don't want to fuck up again and lose you. They are in love with you. Let me get one more with that King of Cups. Yeah, they want to invest in this. They want to invest in this commitment. They want to invest in this connection. And they want, they're going to let you know that. Okay, they want to invest in you. They want to spend money on you. They want to spoil you here. I'm getting, like, when they look at you, their eyes is, I'm getting, like, their eyes turn into hearts. Okay, you know that heart eye emoji? They just want, and that's how they feel about you, and they want to invest a lot of money and time into you. They want to make you, it's like, the Queen of Wands, she's very, um, stylish. Okay, even though she, this is the regular tarot, so of course she's not going to look that stylish, but she look... You know, she looks pretty fierce in the rest of the queens, you know. So, I feel like this person wants to take you shopping. They want to dress you up. They want to make you look nice. I'm getting they want to dress you up in the clothes that they like and in, in, in the clothes that they like to wear, in a sense. So, they want to pick out clothes for you and, and dress you up all nice and sexy. That's what I'm getting. Like, this person has a lot of dreams. They're manifesting you back. All right? They're manifesting you back here. Their guard is about to be down here. They're about to put their guard down. All right? Somebody's definitely giving up on the past. With the death card here in reverse and the nine of wands. Here in reverse, they're giving, up, they're giving up on the past here. They was resisting it, but not anymore. And y'all gonna reconcile. I'm calling judgment on it. So y'all, yeah, this is good. They in love with you. Just give them some time to come back around. They're gonna come back around. For some of you guys, y'all could be, you know, not begging, but y'all really want this person to come back around. Just to see where you stand, you know, because y'all still holding on to them in your heart, even though they did what they did to you. For some of you guys, you're willing, it's like, it's, it's for some, if this person was a complete narcissist, this is not your story. This is for people that, whoever it resonates for, okay? If it was a narcissist, somebody that's a player, I will not be telling you guys they're coming back around. It will not come out this way. All right, whoever this is, they're, you know, they want to make things up. They want to make things up, okay? And that they love you, and they want to make sure that they come back around as your king of pinnacles. Okay, nothing more, not, nothing less but that. Look, I split the damn, look at this. <laughs> I split the deck, and I see the ten of pinnacles. Some of you guys, I may not even see this right now. Some of y'all, y'all gave up on this situation here, but, um, and was like, y'all not going to receive the ten of pinnacles with them. It's like, y'all gave up on it, all right, but at the same time, you're still holding on to them. And that's why they're coming back around. Yeah, because they left you in regret because they were being sneaky. All right. And it was a heavy burden on both you and them. And I feel like y'all yeah, been up stressing, feeling like, damn, I thought I thought it was my commitment. I thought this was, was the one. And it became unsuccessful. But they're about to give you the truth and clarity. Look, the king of wands that they always been attracted to you. They always wanted you. They always liked you here. They always loved you. And they, and they was just juggling here. And they thought they could have eat their cake and eat it. They thought they were going to have their cake and eat it too and keep you a secret. They was definitely juggling here. But I feel like with the strength card, 
they're going towards who they feel more um gravitated towards like they're going towards the person who they have strong feelings for and i feel like that could be you guys here they're blocking energies out yeah they're blocking out all them energies here that's that's keeping them in a karmic cycle all right and they're, and they're detaching from the past like i said yeah walking away they're walking away all right when they walked away from you it left you a bit confused all right because you thought that they wasn't going to come back but they are coming back <coughs> Now, should you trust them? I don't know. If y'all, you know, because I'm getting some of you guys, you picked up, they had a third party. All right. And now they're trying to come back to you ever since. All right. But just take our resonance, okay? <laughs> I know some people be in my comments like, no, nope, that was a narcissist. That, then it's not your story, honey. It's not your story. Y'all, I picked up narcissistic energy before, okay, with distorted masculine. So, it ain't like, I'm just making things up. <laughs> But anyways, I love y'all. Namaste.